Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds, middleweights going at it. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. He's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. The Natural's on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening stanza of this 12 round fight. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Rushing uppercut by the natural. To the head he goes with a left hand. The natural's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Combos, combos! Hey, hey come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Gets rid of that effort. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Scores with the uppercut. The Naturals coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Scored well up top. One, two, one, two. Let it go. That's worked on it. It's a good job. The Naturals getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, OK, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. And let the hands go, punches and punches. Now listen, I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab... It's like a whole new fighter out there. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Keep moving, get out there. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Wow, what an uppercut. He scores with the jab. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. 
know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. The Naturals jammed by an uppercut. Good shot there with that left. Double up on your punches. Lands a big hook. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And now just wasting everybody's time holding Let's go. on. The natural is able to avoid that punch. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the natural. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Gets him with the right hand. A well-targeted hook landed by the natural. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Do you want this fight? You want this fight? Listen to me. Do you want this fight? You got to stay. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? So a new round is underway here, but will it be just where we left off? Remember, the bell rang in that last round to keep this fight going. He was taking a beating. Yeah, well, I hope that he watched some Houdini movies. I really do, because he's going to have to do a Houdini to get out of this. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Nice work. Nice work. The Naturals left, landing well. Solid hook. The Naturals done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punch. The Natural! Did you see that? He is down on the floor after taking that shot. And there's a lot of time left in the round. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. The Naturals movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. There's that right hand he scores with. Not much action as he just ties up. Another clinch. Well-placed hook. That's it, just like that. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see. Uppercut. Come on. Oh, he took some damage, but he Come gave on. some back with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. And that's the end of round three. Much better. Much better. That was good. Here you go. All right, how you doing? How you doing? Good, good. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. We got it. How you feeling? All right. Now, he's counter punching, and you need to be aware of that, okay? Watch for that count. You don't need that. Now. Throw that away. Beginning of round number four. Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative. Hasn't wasted anything. But as you just touched on, a 
has made everything count. The natural is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Halfway through round number four. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. There's a right hand. Scored well to the body again. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Oh, and there you go. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.